welcome to another one of my After Effects tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make animation go to audio. In this case I've got the word heartbeat and it's going to get bigger and smaller to the sound of a heartbeat. Like this. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to do that. It is a bit complicated. It's more complicated than my other tutorials, but it isn't too hard overall. Okay, so to start off with, just make a new composition by clicking on that new composition button. And check the settings. I'm just going to make it an NTSC DV widescreen. And click OK. So here we are. Now to start off with, we need the word heartbeat in this case, but you can make anything at all that you want. Okay, so at the moment we've got the text icon here, so you can click on the arrow or click V to get the arrow back and then now you can move this. You can grow it and shrink it and if you hold down shift it'll keep it the same size as it was before. Okay, so this is our word heartbeat. Now I'm going to go layer, pre-compose, move all attributes into the new composition and click OK. And then if you go over here and alt double click on the comp. Now what this is going to do is just so we can give this a few more effects and yeah, it will all be compiled in the one layer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got here somewhere. Okay, I've got a heartbeat sound. Heart beat. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's the one I want. So you just grab this, drag it straight in here, so now it appears there. Just drag this into the composition under that previous layer. So now I've got the sound heartbeat in here with this composition. Now I'm going to apply an effect to this. Go audio, bass and treble. If I pump the bass right up here, and the treble right down what this is going to do is it's going to make the bass of the heartbeat so the boom boom make it heaps louder for us to get the sound out of or like this if you can hear it okay so you can hear it it's a bit muffled now which is good that's what we want so now if you make a new null object and drag that back to the start and we're going to call this the audio a u d i o okay now since we've got the effect on this we're going to right click go keyframe assist convert audio to keyframes Okay, there we go. Now we've got another null object. What null objects are is they're kind of a blank object. They look pretty silly, but they're mainly there just to hold information. Okay, so in here, if we click U on the keyboard, it'll show us all its keyframes. As we can see, it has given us heaps of different keyframes according to the waveform here. So it gets bigger there, smaller than bigger and bigger. So what it shows here, if we keep in line there, where it's big, you can see here now we've got higher numbers. If you stick it somewhere else they're a little bit lower, like the waveform. Okay now we don't need the left and right channels, so click delete on the left channel. 
and delete on the right channel. It's now got just the both channels keyframes. If you highlight all of them, click Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. And now we'll go to this audio null object that we made before. If we go to Effect, Expression Controls, Slider Control. Now what this is, this is just a random uh, place where you can stick numbers and information just to store them. So now if we click on the keyframe, and so now when I click U, it shows up all the aspects of this layer which have create keyframes in them. So now I've got this here. Go delete and control V or command V if you're on a Mac. And now that gives you all those keyframes which were in this audio amplitude. So now that has stuck it all in another slider control. So now we can just delete this slider control. Now we've got all the information there. So now that we've got all the information in this audio null object, we can delete this one. And then on this sound, we can delete this effect. All that effect was, was to make these louder, deeper sounds even louder and more extreme. So now if we click U, you can see we've got all these keyframes. Now with this heartbeat comp, if we go into its scale if by clicking S, or you can go down transform to scale, if you click S it just shows the scale. Now if we alt click on this keyframe, it's going to do all this weird stuff, it may look weird, but now what we're going to do is type in an expression which is we want it to be this plus grab this this is a pick whip we're going to pick whip it to this slider control which is right here like that now we've got a nice expression it's not very confusing what the scale there means is what its original amount was, which is 100%, then plus whatever the amount there is. So now if we give that a quick RAM preview, have a look what it does. See, so it goes in and out with the heartbeat. Okay, now that's pretty cool, but as you can see, it has a few jiggles in between it after each of the big booms like there you can see it's got little wiggles now that doesn't look too bad now if you want to get rid of that we can type in another expression for this slider control so to type in an expression if you ever want to type in an expression hold alt and then click on that stopwatch picture now everything that this says here is just saying whatever that value is. So we can delete that and type in this expression. Okay, now you don't have to have exactly that, but I'll tell you what that means. When it says linear, that means it'll be like in a straight line graph. What value means is what this original value was. What these numbers mean is that where the value 30 was, when this was valued 30, now it's going to value 0. And where it valued 100, it is now going to value 50. 